Hey guys! Hi everyone! I'm back with another video. Um, so, I actually took the trip out to the forest today and um, went to with nature. I'm planning to upload that video um, soon. I just have to put it together and edit it. Um, but I just got back. Um, you know, a few minutes ago. It's kind of late, but I wanted to show you guys some things that I got um, during my trip uh, to the forest. Um, I went into this dollar store that was um, around the way, and I found some things in there, so I want to show you guys. Now I gotta go dollar store shopping. <laughs> okay, so I'm still figuring out what I want to do with these things, but I think that I might put them, I might put one on the altar that I have now, because I got two statues, and I might put um, one on an ancestor altar, an altar, or just use it for decoration, I'm not sure, but, because I love little figurines, I got these two little statues, bust, and they're small bust, see? I love this. I love the fact that she has natural hair. And if you can see, I don't know how well you can see in this lighting. Let's try to move it down just a little bit. It's hot. Ooh. Okay. It's, it has she shells in it. In her hair, she has she shells. It really is not being done justice with all this lighting, but um, I think this is a beautiful goddess statue, and she's natural in her natural beauty, and she has the seashells, you know, connecting her to nature. Um, and I love her garb that she's wearing. It's very detailed, very cultural. And uh, the detail on her face. It's a hoop earrings there. And that one looks like a starfish. So um, I think I'm going to put this one on my altar as the goddess. Since my altar is dedicated to spirits and my development of spirits and a spirit of the universe. Um, and I also have my goddess Athami on there. So um, I'm going to bless this one and then put it on my altar um, and she can represent the goddess in me and uh, yeah so I can do that and make offerings to her and uh, yeah so and I bought two of them and you won't believe like two of them they are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and they were only a dollar twenty nine when I saw them I was like oh my gosh because you know I love looking for these in the store but uh, um, usually it's hard to find one that has brown that's brown skinned um, and you know that's very important for me because if I'm worshiping a god the god should reflect me and um, because in your eyes a god you know you're made from deity deity should reflect you and um, if you're looking at something as superior, you have to make, be careful of whatever image you put in your mind as superior. You have to be able to connect to it. So it's very important uh, that I have something like this that I can connect to when I look at it. And uh, yeah, it's hard to find that in a lot of stores. Like you have to order it offline. Like I showed you guys my statues with Asar and Aset, also known as Isis and Hor and um, Osiris. Uh, our star and Aset are their African names, and Isis and Osiris are the names later given to them by the Greeks. But, um, like, I have to order those kind of specialty statues offline. It's very hard to go into the stores and find this. So, I'm very excited. Um, I'm not sure, because I have two. I do plan to put one on my altar now. I just feel it was such a great idea, such a great, um, you know, find. So, I just grabbed up of two uh, and I had one other person with me that I traveled to the forest with and they got the other one so uh, I, I might use one maybe in the future I'll put put one in a giveaway I don't know we'll see what happens with them 
Um, but I do have a couple of items that I have too many of that I am planning to do a giveaway in the future. Um, but I do want to save my giveaway for when I get 100 subscribers. Um, that's what I plan to do because that's the way that I want to celebrate my um, channel is doing a giveaway. But, so those are from those. And then I found this. I'll show you. And this is, I looked at it and I said, oh my god, like, that will make a great cup or a great offering cup. Because it is um, painted. Mm, if you can see the color. It's like a gold. And then it has black and brown. So I was like, this would make a great offering cup. So you can put this on your altar as an offering cup. Or um, this is, but this is actually a pot, a pot for a plant. So you could grow something in here, but I think it looks offering awesome as like an offering cup or some type of chalice. So um, I'm planning to use this on my altar as well. You could fill with water, fragrance water, put flowers in there. You can make offerings with coins in there, put the incense sticks, whatever it is that um, you want to do. Um, put wine to the goddess and the god you know so i think this looks very well i know it looks very nice and cultural just the colors go together very well so um oh and yeah this is actually for my natural hair girls that watch me uh, i know some of you are also pagan but i just wanted to show you a clip that i got for my hair and my hair like usually the the um, the clasp is hard to get those because my hair is very thick so the clasp might not hold on my hair or it'll hold the hair but it'll uh, pull it out when I take it loose but I just wanted to turn around and show you guys a clasp that I found in the store because I've never really seen a clasp like this before I don't know if you guys can see it but it's really nice really nice for natural hair I'll just take it out of my hair it's like this you guys can see my class so it opens up and it's round and then you just put your hair inside and it'll brush your hair and is not going to get stuck and then it looks like this very classy um, so that is a new find because I've been looking for a clip and this is another one I haven't tried it this one was two dollars. It's like European design, these clasps. But it, it comes like this. So when you open it up, you open it, <laughs> open up, <laughs> and that's how strong the clasp is. It's very strong. You open it up, there is a lot of room inside. So that's good for you girls with thick curly hair. That'll work nice. Yeah. And that's by Tina, whoever that is. <laughs> Alright, I just wanted to do a quick video showing you guys my finds. Um, and I'll come back to you next time with a video of my trip to the forest. Until next time, lovelies. Peace, love, and blessings.